Many people have a dream of making $100 per day by just clicking a few buttons. In the world of crypto, this can be both surprisingly easy and incredibly challenging. That's why in this video, I will reveal to you a proven day trading strategy that is perfect for beginners and can be easily implemented on the newly updated Prime XBT platform. I will guide you on how to effectively trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies using leverage. Let's kick things off with a look at the newly revamped Prime XBT platform. It does look sleek, modern, and very user-friendly even for beginner traders. In the upper left menu, we can find a wide range of assets to trade, including cryptocurrencies and CFDs, which give us access to the stock, forex, and commodity markets. While they do offer a copy trading option for following professional traders, today we are focusing on the very exciting world of leveraged crypto trading. So let's click on crypto futures. The first thing you'll notice is that their fees are incredibly low, almost 10 times lower than most crypto exchanges. But also to mention, for trading forex market, there are literally zero fees. Kinda crazy. This attractive fee structure is designed to meet the demand of professional traders while maintaining a competitive edge. However, these advantages aren't exclusive only to pros. Even if you're a beginner trader, you can still benefit from those very low fees and leverage it to enhance your trading experience. Now, click on Start Trading. If you don't have an account yet, I highly recommend you signing up using the first link below this video as there are some fantastic bonuses waiting for you. Once we are logged in, we see a Bitcoin chart powered by TradingView, integrated directly into Prime XBT. This allows us to perform in-depth technical analysis right within the platform. To trade other cryptocurrencies, we can just navigate to the upper left corner and select our desired asset. Remember that Bitcoin won't always have the ideal trading setup, so it's crucial for us to explore other cryptocurrencies with promising setups and favorable risk-to-reward ratios. To streamline our chart, let's remove the volume indicator as it's not really necessary for our strategy. Since our goal is to make $100 per day trading crypto, we'll switch to a lower time frame, ideally 5 or 15 minutes. Now, let's identify the trend direction as we always want to trade with a trend which is the path of least resistance. To do this, we'll add two exponential moving averages or EMAs to our chart. Click on the indicators tab and search for moving average exponential. Click it twice to apply two EMAs. For the first EMA, set the length value to 50. In the style tab, change the color to red and increase the thickness for better visibility. For the second EMA, set the length to 200, change the color to green, and also increase the thickness. With our exponential moving averages in place, identifying trends becomes simple. We'll use two timeframes for multi-timeframe analysis and better confluence. If you're trading on the 5-minute chart, use the 15-minute chart to identify the higher timeframe trend. If you're trading on the 15-minute chart, use the 1-hour chart for trend confirmation. Personally, I prefer the 15-minute and 1-hour combination. Generally, higher timeframes provide more reliable trend information. This means that trades taken on the 15-minute chart, when confirmed by the 1-hour trend, often have a higher probability of success. However, using higher timeframes generally means fewer trading opportunities compared to lower timeframes. So, the 15-minute and 1-hour combination will offer fewer potential trades versus the 5-minute and the 15-minute setup. Therefore, if you are not finding enough promising setups or making sufficient profit with your selected altcoin and time frame, try lowering it to the 5-minute and 15-minute combination for potentially more opportunities. We are allowed to only take long positions if both time frames, in my example, the 15-minute and the 1-hour, are showing an uptrend. But how do we know we are moving in an uptrend? 50 exponential moving average, which is the red one, needs to be above the 200 exponential moving average, which is the green one. That way we know we are moving in an uptrend. This needs to be happening on both, 1 hourly and the 15 minute chart. Only that way we know that Bitcoin or whatever asset you are trading is moving in a strong uptrend, which means that taking long positions simply make more sense because the path of least resistance is towards the upside. Conversely, we only take short positions if both time frames, the 15 minute and the 1 hour chart, indicate a downtrend. This occurs when the 50 EMA is below the 200 EMA, making short trades the more logical choice. To complete our strategy, we need to add one more indicator. 
the Relative Strength Index or RSI. Go back to the Indicators tab, search for Relative Strength Index and click it to add it to your chart. We will keep the default settings as I find those to be most effective. Now, let me show you how to execute a leverage trade on the updated Prime XBD platform. First, we need funds in our account. To deposit, let's click the deposit button in the top right corner. We can deposit crypto, initiate a bank transfer or purchase crypto with a credit or a debit card. In the very near future, there will be quite a significant airdrop for clients that use my link to sign up on the platform. I've already funded my account, so I'll transfer some Bitcoin to my crypto futures wallet. Click transfer, select Bitcoin or your chosen currency, choose the crypto futures wallet and enter the amount. I'll start by transferring 0.2 Bitcoin, currently worth over $10,000. Now we are finally ready to trade. To initiate a long position using our strategy, we need to confirm an uptrend on both time frames. Let's start with the one hour chart. Here we see the 50 EMA above the 200 EMA, indicating that Bitcoin is indeed in an uptrend. Now let's switch to the 15 minute chart to verify the trend there. If it doesn't align, we'll need to wait for both time frames to synchronize. In this case, the 15 minute time frame also shows an uptrend, confirming a valid trend direction on both charts. This is where the RSI indicator comes in. We need it to dip in the oversold zone below the 30 level. This suggests that the asset may be reaching a point where buyers could re-enter the market and drive the price higher. Ideally, we also want to see the price trading near the 50 or 200 EMA as these act as dynamic support levels. Now we patiently await a bullish candlestick pattern or a clear reaction from the support levels to confirm our long entry. Remember, a strategy is only half the battle. Proper risk management is equally crucial. Before we dive into risk management, if you are finding this video helpful, like and subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. Prime XBD offers two types of margin, cross and isolated. I recommend using isolated margin as it's safer, especially for beginners. Regarding leverage, I suggest not exceeding 10x for Bitcoin or 5x for altcoins due to their higher volatility. Getting liquidated should be avoided at all costs as it incurs additional fees. It is always better to use a stop loss order for protection. Now let's determine our position size. To do this, we first need to know where to place our stop loss order. Let's use the long position tool to visualize our trade. As mentioned before, we'll enter on a price reaction at a support level and place our stop loss below it. In this case, our stop loss is roughly 0.6% below our entry. We'll aim for a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio by placing our take profit order at a distance twice the size of our stop loss. This ensures that our potential profit on a winning trade is double our potential loss on a losing trade a crucial aspect of risk management. As a beginner, I recommend risking only 1% of your account per trade. This means if you lose a trade, you only lose 1% of your capital. Since our stop loss is set at 0.6%, we need to calculate our position size accordingly. We have 0.2 Bitcoin in our account, so dividing that by 100 gives us our risk per trade. 0.002 Bitcoin. However, our stop loss is at 0.6%, so we need to divide 0.002 Bitcoin by 0.6 to get our position size. 0.0033 Bitcoin. But this position size is only accurate for 1x leverage. Since we are using 2x leverage, we need to divide 0.003 Bitcoin by 2, resulting in a final position size of 0.0016 Bitcoin. I'm just going to round this to 0.002 Bitcoin as my position size. We enter this amount in the amount field and click place by order. We've officially entered the trade. Now we just need to set our stop loss and take profit levels. Click on the pen icon under TP slash SL and enter the values provided earlier by the long position tool. Click set and we are all done. You can monitor your unrealized profit and loss in real time. Currently, it seems we are already in the green. Now all we need to do is patiently observe the market and see if our trade unfolds as planned. To monitor the trade, we for sure don't want to be glued to our computers. The Prime XBT mobile app lets me keep tabs on my position wherever I go, ensuring everything runs smoothly. And now the moment of truth, 
was our latest trade a winner or a loser? Checking the history tab, we see the results. As expected, it was a winner. If you're ready to start making $100 per day with this day trading strategy, head over to Prime XBT using the first link below. Their incredibly low fees and newly revamped user-friendly interface make it the perfect platform for beginners and experienced traders. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.